I went to Honua Ola Bioenergy to check out the silver area of the building. This section contains the scrubbers and filters to collect carbon particles and reduce greenhouse gas emissions like nitrogen oxide from entering the atmosphere. I spoke to Ryland Ferreira and asked him for a very simple explanation. Tell me about all these emission controls. Well, there's four, four major parts, pieces of equipment involved in the emission controls. The first one is the mechanical dust collector, which collects the largest part particulates leaving in the combustion, ga in the combustion gases. Um, it uses cyclone action to push the heavy materials down and collect it. The second one is our ESP, which is right here. Our ESP is, uses e um, electricity in the collection of particulates. It steps up in voltage as the particulates get smaller and smaller. It charges the particulates neg negatively, and the collection plates inside are charged positively. And once they get stuck to it, stuck to the plates, our wrap wrappers on the top shake it down to the bottom for collection and removal. After that, we move on to our SCR. Our SCR. At the entry, we spray in aqueous ammonia, which helps with NOx gas, nitrogen oxide. It converts the nitrogen oxide into nitrogen gas and water, which is naturally occurring in our atmosphere. After that, we move on to our bag house. A bag house has six compartments, 20 foot long, about 2,600 of them. At the entry to that, we blow in sodium bicarbonate, which forms a cake on the bag, and the very fine particulates in the combustion gases get stuck in the that cake, and we use pulses of air at the top to shake them off and for collection and removal. What if the emission is too high or whatever? Well, what happens? We have a SEMS unit located at our stack, which collects data 24 seven, kind of like a black box, black box on a plane. We can't touch it, so, and we can't modify it, but it'll send an alarm signal. And if we get that alarm, we have a very short window, about six minutes to either fix the problem or we need to take the plant offline for correction. Wow, so like a black box in an airplane. Yeah, you can come in at any time and request information from there. What, what comes out of this place, right? Pretty much just heat vapor. That's all you'll see. Oh, just heat vapor. Yep. Wow, amazing. Are the power plants is like this? Um, yeah, they're set up pretty much the same way, except, you know, most power plants run an, either an ESP or a bag house. But we're running both. Make sure that we collect as much as possible wow. before it it's, goes out into the atmosphere. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah. It is pretty awesome. Any last words? No, that's it. I mean, just looking forward for the word go. Awesome. Big shaka, big shaka. Yeah. So I learned the emission control system has four filters this combustion gas must pass through. It starts with the dust collector. And when it reaches the fourth filter, Clean air that meets all or exceeds EPA or State Department of Health standards enters the atmosphere. I also learned about the monitor box containing all the data. The plant needs to go offline within six minutes if emission is above federal standards and Honua Ola biomass operation has the latest state-of-the-art emissions control the most biomass energy operations.